WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. And currently, of all the uh, indices that we track, U.S. indices trading to the upside. Most of the sectors, the only sector not trading the upside is the utility sector. That's off 28 pennies. The Dow is up 91. S&P 27, NASDAQ 100, 118, that's 1%, 1 and 6 tenths for the Russell, that's 30 points. The semis are up 1 and 4 tenths or 39 points out there. Gold is now up, it's up 6 bucks, trading out 1928. Silver is trading out at, um, oh, let's see, let me change gold, I've got the February contract up here still, let's change this to April. Uh, so now we can say gold is up five bucks, trading out 1944. Silver trading up uh, six pennies, trading out at 2380. Lights week crude up a buck, 7891 is the print there. Natural gas up two cents, the 30 year treasury up two ticks, 129.27 is the print there. Let's go take a look at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini. What did it do this morning? Well, what it did was it got down to support. You and I looked at a new profile that was attempting to form. It in fact formed the support level. 4005. This morning's low, 4007. You got to love it. So, what we have right now, bigger picture, we've got a consolidation within descending and rising trend lines. And we have a consolidation that is uh, taking place between the current daily profile. And that's between 4,005 and 4,088. Spot volatility is still below its 50-day exponential moving average. The 50 days at 2136. The spot is printing right now at 1941. That is a bullish signal for the S&P 500. In the case of the NQ, price got right down to a trend line. Didn't get all the way to the bottom. It too did form a new profile. Support is at 11,808. Resistance 12,208. Now, gold, not gold, but uh, the NQ does have a confirmed sell the D point pattern. But getting back and holding that trend line, well, that'll tell us whether that was the uh, key bottom or not, if price is able to close back above the 12208 level. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it too formed a new profile a couple of days ago. Price right now just consolidated within it. That's between the range of 101.40 and 102.23. Goldilocks, earlier this morning, as U.S. dollar index was pushing higher, we had gold pushing lower. But right now, it's back inside its new profile. That range between 1930.80 and 1961. The case of silver still has the Rosemontum indicator top in place, but it is finding support at the bottom of its daily profile, as did Lightspeed Crude. That bottom of that profile is 77.34. We take a look at natural gas. It still needs to hold $2.60. It did that by about two pennies yesterday. I believe it was about two pennies. Uh, it still needs to hold that in order to maintain that TD9 count bottom. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Be safe out there. And we'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care now.